total internal reflection when the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle the ray of light returns to the ray of light return to the first medium following law of reflection this phenomenon is called internal reflection for example the boundary between two media is shown and upper layer is uh, rarer medium and lower layer is denser medium and when light passes from uh, denser medium to rare medium and they strike at this boundary uh, uh, when uh, the angle of incidence becomes greater than angle of uh, uh, becomes greater than critical angle then the light bounces back to the same medium following the law of reflection that is i will be equal to r and this phenomenon is called total internal reflection now for total internal reflection i must be greater than uh, critical angle that is angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle this implies i greater than sine inverse 1 by n because we have uh, calculated the value of ic as uh, sine inverse 1 by n so this is the condition for total internal reflection now let us uh, explain some phenomena related to internal reflection the first one is marriage during the hot season in the desert region, uh, the air near uh, um, the earth surface becomes very hot and so it becomes uh, rarer and uh, as we go up, up side, the medium becomes denser, that is uh, uh, air becomes denser. So, so So reflective index of the medium is decreasing in downward direction this is towards the earth surface. Now consider a object or a plant, the plant and uh, ray is coming from this because at this point let us let us see because uh, we are uh, the ray is entering from denser to rare medium. So it will get away from the uh, away from the normals. So its original path will be like this, but it get away from the normal. So its path changes. So at every point its path changes, get away from the normal, and a time reaches when it becomes totally uh, when uh, when uh, angle of incidence is greater than ang uh, angle of critical angle, and so light ray get uh, reflected in the same medium and reaches at the uh, person's eyes. So persons uh, see that light is coming from uh, this, be, uh, this point and uh, he, see, he see the image of a uh, plant that is inverted image of a plant. This, is, this uh, event is called marriage. And uh, it appears that uh, for a observer that there is a uh, pond near the plant or any object but there is no pond and there is no water uh, due to the internal reflection or phenomenon of refraction uh, this event becomes happens now uh, same cases for the a sparkling of diamond in which because its reflective index is very high when the right ray goes into the diamond it gets reflected and takes when its uh, shape is made such type that it takes uh, several internal reflection so uh, it uh, it uh, looks like brighter and for uh, diamond the critical angle is only 24 degree Now a case of Poro prism, it is also based on the total internal reflection. This is the case of uh, this is the 45 degree and this is the 45 degree. 
and this is a prism where light enters like this this is an object already this image will be formed like this and again if we invert the, uh, if we place the prism in this situation the uh, in we will get the inverted image of the uh, same body in the same media like this again looming and this uh, event is occurs in the polar region in polar region the medium near the earth surface is denser and as we go above to the earth surface it uh, becomes rarer so uh, near the earth surface is denser and uh, away from the earth surface is rarer so consider a man is uh, looking a object at this point now in light is uh, going from denser to rare medium in this case also so uh, when it go from denser to it gets away from the normal here here for example see this point here the light this is the normal and the original path of light is like this now due to refraction light wended away from the normal and become the direction changed and at every point it is deflected and a point reaches where it took a uh, total internal reflection this is the point where it took total internal reflection and uh, it looks that uh, for this man the um, ray is coming from this point and so in inverted image of uh, he uh, uh, formed at this point uh, it appears to the man that a inverted image is formed at this point and this is this phenomenon is called uh, looming and it is occurred in uh, uh, polar region now optical fever is based on total in internal refraction this is a pi this is of denser medium and this is uh, this is called core and this is called cladding uh, and uh, refra refracting index that is refracting index of uh, cladding is greater than uh, refracting index of core that is this is denser and this is rare no, that is this is denser and this is rare so total internal reflection takes place and from this phenomenon light uh, reaches from one point to another point it is used uh, in uh, telecommunication this is called optical fibers now refraction at a spherical surface N N dash is a spherical boundary separating two media of refractive index N1 and N2 respectively. N N dash. A point object is placed at principal axis whose real image is formed at I in second medium. R is the radius of curvature of the spherical boundary. The texture of the surface is uh, smaller than the other distances involved so we can take angle approximation in this case uh, this is a, a spherical surface which separate two media that is this is medium one and this is medium two uh, refractive in index of this medium is n1 and refractive index of this medium is n2 and uh, a object is placed in front of this uh, boundary surface, uh, curved surface, then image is formed in this side. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, this is a denser, uh, uh, rarer medium, and this is denser medium. Now, because aperture is uh, a small, so we can take the angle of approximation. For example, here I will be equal to uh, alpha plus beta. On the rules of geometry, I equals to alpha plus beta. This is the uh, exterior angle. These are the interior angle of triangle. So exterior angle is equal to the sum of uh, interior angle. So we have I equals to alpha plus beta. Now, we can write by the angle of approximation 10 alpha plus 10 beta 
now c tan alpha is what is tan alpha will be nm by om nm by om and uh, tan beta will be equal to nm by mc nm by mc similarly beta can be written as uh, here this is beta and beta the, for this triangle it is exterior angle and this is the internal so beta can be written as r plus gamma so here it is written r plus gamma hence r will be equal to beta minus gamma so taking the approximation method we can also write nm by mc minus nm by m mi nm by mc minus uh, gamma N, N, nm by n mi also we have a relation between these two angle from the snell's law n1 sin i equals to n2 sin r because we are taking sine approximation angular approximation so this will be n1 i equal to n2 r now for a small angle tan angle nom equivalent to angle nom nm by om tan nacm equivalent to ncm nm by mc equation 2 tan angle nim equals to angle nim equivalent to nm by im from 1, 2, and 3, angle I is the exterior angle of ONC. ONC. So, hence I equals to angle NOM plus NCM. NCM equals to NM, but, uh, NM divided by OM plus NM by MC from 2 and 3. And angle ncm is the exterior angle of triangle nci so ncm equals to r plus angle nim or r equals to angle ncm minus angle nim or r equals to nm by mc minus nm by im from 5 and 3 now from Snell's law we have n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r. This gives n1 i equal to n2 r for a small angle. That is angle of approximation. Or we can put the value of i and r. We have get here. So n1 will be equal to putting the value of i. nm by om plus nm by mc equals to n2 by nm by mc minus nm by im. And this gives n1 equals to 1 by om. nm taking away from the bracket and from this also it will be taking away from uh, out from the bracket so the it, it, nm will be cancelled so we are left with n1 into under bracket 1 by m plus 1 by mc equals to n2 into under bracket 1 by mc minus 1 by im this is equation 6 now we should use the sign convention here so am is the object distance om is the object distance so it will be negative minus u mc is the radius of curvature this will be plus r as shown in the figure and im is the image distance this will be positive so plus v using these in six we get n1 equals to 1 by minus u plus 1 by r equals to n2 into 1 by r minus 1 by v or n2 by v Taking um, this, that is, then you multiply this, this will be n2v by v, then it uh, comes, this side becomes uh, positive. So n2 by v, and uh, this is the negative to minus n1 by u, and we take uh, this part, that is n1 by r into this side. So n2 by r, this is positive, and this becomes negative, so minus n1 by r. This implies n2 by v minus n1 by u equals to n2 minus n1 by r. This is equation 7 and you will to quotes for any curved spherical surface. This formula apply to the any curved surface. This is a very important formula. We have to keep it in the mind. Now, uh, refraction by a lens. Here a lens is shown. Mm. 
दिस इज अ पॉइंट ऑफ एंड दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस अ पॉइंट ऑब्जेक्ट इज ओ विच इमेज इज फॉर्म दैट आई वन दिस इज एन वन एंड दिस इज एन टू दिस इज दी पॉइंट बी दिस डिस्टेंस इज वी वन एंड दिस डिस्टेंस इज वी this is uh, object distance and this is an image distance because there is here there are two curved surfaces so two image will be formed first uh, due to uh, this curved surface which is formed at i1 and second due to this curved surfaces which will be formed the this is the final image so we, we will see this image Ray diagram for image formation by lens is shown in the figure. O is the object whose image is formed at I. The image formation can be understood in two steps. First, refraction at the curved surface, curved surface ABC, that is ABC, and oblique ray ON1 meeting the curved surface at N1, at N1. After refraction, will meet the axis at I. I if the lens material we are continuous. This thus I one is the real image. O formed by refraction at surface N one at a distance v one. Then we have formula N two by v minus N one by u equals to N two minus N one by R. In this case, for the this case. G equals to B1. That is, image distance is B1, and uh, R equals to R1. This is R1. This is positive because this side. And uh, so we use uh, hence uh, N2 by B. See, this is the second medium, and this is the first medium. N2 by so this will not change. Refracting index will not change. N2 by B1 minus N1 by U equals to N2 minus N1 by R1. This is equation two. Second refraction at the curved surface ADC. That is second curved surface ADC. We have seen earlier the first refraction at first curved surface. Then we will see the second curved surface. Refraction at the curved uh, curved surface ADC. The virtual image, uh, the I one image will act for this surface as a virtual image. The virtual image I1 for second refraction is regarded as the object for this surface, and the final image is formed at a distance v and lies in the medium of refracting index n1. So, putting n2 equals to n1 and n1 equals to n2, u equals to v1, because this this is uh, the uh, object distance for second surface. And R equals to R2, and uh, for this surface R in this direction, so this will be R2. R2 in in one we get n1 by v minus n2 by v1 equals to n1 minus n2 by R2. Adding two and three we get n1 by v minus n1 by u equals to n2 minus n1 by R1 plus n1 minus n2 by R2. This implies n1 into under bracket 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to n2 minus n1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. This implies 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to n2 by n1 minus n1 by n1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2, or 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to n2 by n1. That is n2. Uh, Refracting index of two with respect to one, and this will be one. So n2 1 minus one equals to 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. If the object lies at infinity, then one by u equals to one by infinity equal to zero, and v equals to f. So equation four becomes one by f equals to n two one minus one into one by r one minus r two. This is known as the lens maker formula. Now from four and five, we have one by v minus one by u equals to one by f. This is the thin lens formula.